Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the two toy poodles. For this video, we are going to be showing you how we manage the tear stains, most especially for summer. This was how bad summer's tear stains were when I got back from my trip last year. That's why so many people have been asking us what we did, hence this video. So, we will be sharing with you some of the tips and tricks that we learned over the years, most especially the ones that worked out for us. We hope you carefully read the disclaimer that we placed because we made this video with the best intentions in mind. Please be responsible for your own actions should you decide to follow our tips and tricks. If you are new to our channel, welcome, and if you haven't, please do consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. Let's get to it! So for the first tip, um, it's useful to have like uh, baby wipes. So make sure that it's one that's non-toxic. So I basically just get one and I wipe it. I do this daily for sure, especially for summer. For Bailey, not really, you don't have to. I just wipe the areas where I think there's tear staining. I usually wipe this area also because there's usually staining here. Next, another tip I can give you is um, using contact lens solution. And of course, you will need um, flat uh, cotton for it. So I just basically use this to um, clean the eye or rinse her eye every night. Sometimes I, I get lazy too, so you know, you don't have to do it every day. Unless it's really bad tear staining, then maybe it's a good idea to regularly do it or even twice a day, it's fine. Um, the idea is uh, tear stains are caused by like some sort of bacteria so it grows around the eye and this one kind of helps um, disinfect it or you know kill the bacteria so I just basically pour it let it soak let it soak for a bit and then I just basically wipe it like this if your dog is not comfortable with that you can also just you know pour it on the cotton <clears throat> and then just wipe it one tip that I could also tell you is to make sure that you trim the fur that could possibly be irritating her eyes so I actually have grooming scissors but the thing is I know that not everyone has it so I want to show you that you know it's also possible with regular scissors but please please very very strong caution if you're not if you don't know what you're doing please don't do this is because it's quite dangerous most especially for kids, please don't do this without ad adult supervision or if your dog is not trained. Again, I have grooming scissors, but I'm just um, using regular scissors. Just to show you that you don't have to buy those expensive tools, you can just make do with what you have at home. Okay, so this one usually irritates her eye, so I'm just basically going to trim that. Be careful. That's it. For the last method, this was actually recommended by another friend. Quite frankly, I'm not very comfortable with sharing this because I was worried that it could hurt more than help if not done properly. But then I also thought, if it will help more pet parents solve the problems of tear staining, then let's do it. But please, exercise very very strong caution and please be responsible for your own actions. We will only be sharing what worked for us. It's no guarantee that it will work for you. So please take responsibility should you decide to try our method. So one thing that you can actually use or what I used is hydrogen peroxide. Um, 
the idea of this is uh, it kills bacteria and like I said the tear staining is actually caused by a specific bacteria very very strong caution when you use this please so I just put a very very small amount like so and then I carefully just wipe the area of the tear stain itself away from the eye of course summer doesn't have the tear stains anymore so this is just for demonstration purposes so you don't have to like pour it or anything it could be a very very small amount so it's basically just cleaning it after that um, I use cornstarch so you just get a bit of cornstarch a pinch and then you use the cornstarch to suck up the peroxide like so and then you can just leave it to dry um, you don't have to rinse it I don't normally rinse it but if it is irritating your dog's eyes then you should rinse it right away but personally I don't for the girls I even wait until the next day until I actually do it all over again so let's pretend it's the next day so I basically get a sheet of um, baby wipes and then I use it to wipe it off as my way of rinsing it and then I do it all over again okay so if you ask me how long I used it for uh, for a month I did it once every day and then as I saw improvement um, I gradually lessened it to maybe every other day until eventually I did it only weekly and until now I don't normally do it weekly but maybe every every two weeks if not once a month just for maintenance and yeah her tear stains are gone all right that's it for our tear stain routine we hope you guys learned something from that and uh, maybe picked up something new do comment down below if you guys have tried any of the things that we've done and how it worked out for you or if you tried any of our methods and how it worked for you we'd love to know it's totally okay to say that it didn't work or it worked it doesn't matter but there is always a nice way of saying things so please be nice all right that's it thank you guys so much for watching thank you for subscribing and we will see you again next time bye